Happy Sunday, everybody. Yes, I am here with you, and you are here with me. If you are the voice, and we are joined here together on the most amazing, beautiful, and enriching Sunday. There was so much powerful energy shared together amongst many, 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 many leaders and guides holding space for prayer, for meditation, for a time to just visualize the healing energy that lives and exists within all of us. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who participated and really just holding space, whether you held space for one minute, whether you took three breaths right at the time of 444 that was happening simultaneously around the world. So if you know, yesterday was 4, 4, and then 2020, right? And those two twos add up to the number four. So it was 444, four, four, and it really just opened up a portal of energy that could be transmuted and translated through all of the cosmos really just shining healing, shining love, shining care, shining understanding, shining support. Because we've been so separated from each other for so long, we have to remind ourselves that we are never really alone when we are fully with ourselves. And I think that during this quarantine time, even if you took one of these weeks, one of these days, hopefully you're taking the entire time to really fall deeply into an understanding of who you are and those things that really make you get fueled and get you excited throughout your day. Who are you when you don't have any prior commitments but to yourself to make? Who are you when you're looking at yourself and wondering, how do I get to create my day when maybe you've always had a day that's been assigned to you? And you're so used to just going into every day with the same exact mentality, knowing that it's going to be this beginning, this middle, and this end, never even taking a different route home. Well, now that you're in yourself and you can have these thoughts that are coming up or think about things that you may not have thought about often, allow these thoughts to flow, right? If you have a new thought or reoccurring thought that keeps coming up to you, take time to write it down and then explore that thought. Read a book that may open yourself up to an understanding that's deeper and then be better when you re-enter this world in this space, however that is, we're going to do that. This time is magical because it really tests your ability to understand your self-worth. And then once you begin to understand your self-worth, you can then define what it is you want to bring into your space at any time, what you want to bring into your space at any time, and how you deal with different energies in your space. Allow these things to also come up for you and create new understanding as to what it is you still need to grow at, what it is you still need to pay attention to. Patience, patience, patience is always coming up for me. It's like my leading thing really understanding how to handle my emotions so that I allow myself to stay motivated in this time by actions I was already doing before. The week going into quarantine was like on a high. So much great energy being shared and just embraced and just really loved. A lot of great love, a lot of great energy. So I hope that you are able to tap into what love means for you so that you can create that in your spaces now. Seeing and having the time to be with family. I've heard so many stories about people who normally are at jobs so diligently that they really don't really get at home time with wife, mom, dad, brother, sister, cousin, aunt, uncle, whoever your home life includes. You don't really get enough time to understand the people and how they're growing within your own home because you're so focused on your life. And it's time to really understand how your focus on your life is affecting the life of others right there in your personal space. So take time to have those deep conversations, spread love and understanding, give thanks for your ability to still be up now and always hold space in each and every day for all of those who are fighting the virus. It's really real. It's happening, it's affecting so many different people. And what we have to do outside, those of us who aren't affected have to stay really healthy, stay really wise about our choices, stay inside and only go out for essential things like they are saying, and really hold positivity for when this change processes that we can all come through as a better society in totality. 
that will have better understanding for the type of care that we all need on a personal level, on a people level, and start to be able to build from that and create a better way of living for all of us around. So I love you. I appreciate you. You mean the world, the moon, the stars, the entire Milky Way galaxy to me. And until next time.